Austin, who are we going to drop today? Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty? Yeah. He had a great fall. Yeah. All right, Austin, you got your marker? Yeah. All right, we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. We're using a Sharpie, but you don't have to, especially if, if you're doing this activity with young artists, but I trust you because we've done Sharpies before, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How old are you? Four. Four years old, yeah. So we're gonna keep this nice and easy. Yeah. Ready to start? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right, we're gonna start with our paper vertical, and that's because we're gonna draw Humpty Dumpty really tall, and we're gonna draw a big oval in the middle because he kind of looks like an egg. Yeah. So we're going to start right here, and I'm going to come around, we're going to draw a big, like that, and I'm going to draw the, I'm going to come back up here and draw the other side of him, like that, there we go, so we're going to start right here, let's start right here in the top, and we're going to draw a big oval, a big circle, yes, good, keep going, that's awesome, then come back around, yeah, oh, he's got a big, Big body, I like it. Good job, give me five. You did awesome. Okay, now up here at the top, let's draw two big circles. And this is gonna be for his eyes. And we're gonna draw them kind of close together. Pretty big. <laughs> Good, and then one right next to it. Or down there. <laughs> Good. Okay, now on the inside, let's draw another circle, and I'm going to draw kind of close to the other one. Good, and I'm going to do the same on this side. Good. Awesome. Okay, now let's draw another smaller circle, and if you want to keep this activity even easier, you can just color in this one all the way. But we're going to put a little circle in there, because we like doing that, and that's so that it looks like there's light reflecting. Yeah. Do you want to color in this circle and leave the smaller one white? And then I'm going to do a little more, a little different, a little more advanced. I'm going to put another circle in there for the pupil that and then I'm going to color in this circle and that's okay you color in the whole thing good job okay now let's draw his little nose in between his eyes <laughs> a little U shape good okay and then let's draw his big smile so I'm going to draw a big it's going to go all the way over from this side all the way over to the other side <laughs> I like it. Okay, and then let's draw another line that goes across, except this one touches on both sides. And this is going to be for his clothes. Yes. Okay, now we're going to draw a little V, and this is going to be for his tie. Good. And then we're going to draw a bigger V. Ah, good job. And then we're going to draw two lines that come down and connect this V to the other V. You see that? And that's going to be his tie. Good. And then one on the other side. Over here. Good. You did it. I like how you're concentrating. Oh, we forgot his eyebrows. Let's do one line over here and one over here just above his eyes. And I put him on the side so he looks a little worried. Oh, and I like yours. Oh, a little one. <laughs> okay, let's finish his clothes. Okay. Let's draw a line straight down the middle. Yours a little off to the side. That's okay. And then let's do three or two dots. Let's do two dots two. for buttons. Two circles for the buttons. Good. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, what's he missing? His body. Oh, he, we drew his body. Well, his he's, leg. His <laughs> yeah, feet. yeah we drew, his body and his head are kind of connected. They're the yeah. same thing. <laughs> you know, yeah, so we need to draw his legs and his arms, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's draw two lines. One that comes out on this side, and then one on this side, two on this side, and that's for his legs. Two together. Good. 
Yeah, and then two over here. Oh yeah, and you can connect them at the bottom. Oh, I like that one. Your Humpty Dumpty Tumpty is going to look like he's falling. <laughs> okay, now let's draw his arms, and I'm going to draw two coming out over here on this side and two on this side, and we can connect them just like how you connected the legs. There we go. Good. All right, Kate, now you can draw the, the arm over on this side. Good. Awesome. Okay, now let's draw his feet. So let's draw a little U shape on the bottom of his legs. Good. Yes, good job. And then let's draw his hands over here. So let's draw a thumb. We can just draw the fingers. So I'm going to draw four little bumps for his fingers. And we'll do the same over here. A little thumb and then three fingers. Two, three. Yes, good job. And then one on the other side. <laughs> and then back in. You did it. And then let's put some stripes on his pants. So I'm going to put three lines that go across his pants. And do like this. And then I'm going to do, good. And you put two more. Put two more on there. And then I'm going to do the same up here. Stripes on his arms. Okay, let's do one more thing. Let's give him a hat. Yeah. So let's do a, a little line on top of his head. <laughs> and then let's do a two lines that go up out of the hat and then connect at the top. There's his hat. Okay, we're missing the wall that he's sitting on. Yeah. So let's do a line that goes that connects over here and we're going to imagine it going through his body and out over here on this side. So you can draw a line. I'll give you some points for the wall. And then connect it to his body. Good. Then we're gonna imagine the line going through his body. So we're gonna we're gonna start a line that goes from here to there. Good job. Okay, now let's draw some grass on the bottom. And we're gonna do a zigzag line like this. And we can make it kind of a messy zigzag line so it looks like grass. Good job, you did it, man. I really like your grass. Looks like it needs to be mowed though. Yeah. It's kind of tall. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we could leave it just like this if we want to. We could add more details to the wall. We could add bricks if we want. Yeah. We could also draw clouds and a sun up yeah. in the sky. But let's leave it just like this and our art friends can draw those things if they want to. Okay. Should we get our colors picked out and color them in? Yeah. All right, let's do that. Okay, Austin, we got our colors picked out. We're going to use Crayola Oil Pastels, and this is the set of 28, and it's really easy to pick these up at Target or any store that has a Crayola section. Yeah. And we're going to use orange, light blue, a dark blue. We got this peach color, red, and green. And we're going to fast forward because we're not going to do any special shading or tricks, okay? Okay. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right, right now. Yeah. Austin, we finished it, give me five. Now ours look a little bit different, huh? Yeah. I colored my background, and our mm -hmm. art friends at home, you guys can do that too if you want to. Yeah. Or you can leave it simple like this. Yeah. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part? All of it. All of it. <laughs> and the other, th the other fun thing we could do too is we could draw the another drawing with Humpty Dumpty landing on the ground and cracking open. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember how the nursery rhyme goes? Yeah. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Yes. Humpty Dumpty had a great... Great fall. Yes. All the king's horses. All the king's horses and all the kings. All the king men. Men. Couldn't. Couldn't put 
So do them do that together. <laughs> yeah, put, put them together again. Yeah. Give me five. <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.